Hi guys, today we're going to dive into some of the truths that seem to have gone under the radar when it comes to one of football's up and coming superstars. And the question is, are we sleeping on the incredible trajectory of Phil Foden's career? Did you know that Foden is considered more talented than Messi and Andres Iniesta? Phil's performances this season have been nothing short of exceptional, from being a substitute for many club players to becoming an indispensable force for Manchester City. He got his chance when City's star footballer Kevin De Bruyne got an injury that took him out for most of the season, providing Foden with the opportunity of becoming the main driving force behind Manchester City's pursuit of another title. Foden's talent has not gone unnoticed by Pep Guardiola, one of the greatest football managers in history. Despite coaching world-class players like Lionel Messi, Andres Iniesta, Ian Robin, Frank Ribéry, Robert Lewandowski and Xavi Hernandez, Guardiola himself has stated that Phil Foden is the most talented footballer he's ever coached. If you don't know about Guardiola, this is a football manager who does not give accolades cheaply. However, his admiration for Foden's natural talent becomes evident during Manchester City's pre-season USA tour in 2017. Guardiola was so impressed by Foden's performances that he immediately contacted the club's director of football, Chiki Begeristein, to emphasize the young player's extraordinary potential. Since that summer, Foden's progress under Guardiola's guidance has been very impressive. Foden has also lived up to Guardiola's expectations and has emerged as one of Man City's outstanding performers this season. His contributions, particularly in the absence of Kevin De Bruyne, can be compared to those of footballing legends like Ricardo Kaká. Phil Foden's football journey did not start suddenly. He was born on May 28, 2000 in Stockport, Great Manchester, England. He was a Manchester City fan since childhood and joined their academy at the age of four. His talent was recognized early on and Manchester City even funded his education at St. Bede's College. In July 2016, his dedication was rewarded with an unofficial academy scholarship. At the age of eight, Foden embarked on his journey with the Manchester City Youth Academy, where his football abilities quickly caught the eye of his coaches. Foden wasn't just talented at eight, he was dominant. His skills shone so brightly that Manchester City moved him straight from the under-10s to the under-14s. Despite the age difference, he fit in perfectly and scored a winning header in a tied game. These early promises caused him to be compared with legends like Lionel Messi and De Lima Ronaldo. He regularly trained with older age groups despite his small stature. He overcame this with exceptional skill and determined spirit. His coaches noted his ability to find space and handle physical play. He is now an English professional footballer renowned for his versatility as an attacking midfielder or winger for Manchester City and the England national team. He received his first taste of senior football in December 2016 when he made the matchday squad for a Champions League game against Celtic. Though he was an unused substitute, he made his first team debut in November 2017 as a late substitute in a Champions League clash against Feyenoord. Foden's talent translated to the international stage, where he has scored and won accolades. His Manchester City debut was impressive, which earned him praise from Pep Guardiola. His consistent performances led to more appearances and statistics that can only be compared to world-class stars. When Phil Foden became eligible to represent England's under-17 team, he quickly became a star player and featured in the team's matches during the Euros. He played an important role in guiding them to the final against Spain, even scoring a goal in the match. Although they Lost on penalties after a 2-2 draw and extra time, they later avenged their defeat against Spain in the Under-17 World Cup final. Foden scored a brace in that game as they came from behind to win 5-2. His performance earned him the Golden Ball Award, and this reaffirmed his superiority over his peers. In 2019, he made an outstanding impact by scoring his debut Premier League goal against Spurs and secured a 1-0 victory. Foden's impressive performance against Spurs was just a glimpse of his potential. In the subsequent seasons, he made even more appearances for Manchester City, playing 23 Premier League games in the 2019-2020 season and 28 times in the following season. Not only did he increase his game time, but he also achieved remarkable statistics, including 16 goals and 10 assists in the 2020-21 season and 14 goals and 11 assists in the 2021-22 season. Although Phil Foden debuted for Manchester City's first team over six years ago, he didn't emerge as the club's star until recently. Despite widespread recognition of his talent, Foden struggled to secure a spot in City's starting lineup due to the presence of top star footballers like David Silva, Sergio Aguero, and others. 
However, as these players left City, Foden gradually stepped up and he adapted to various positions under Guardiola's guidance. Though he had limited playing time initially, Foden's potential was evident to Pep Guardiola, who chose not to loan him out. Instead, Foden embraced every tactical challenge thrown his way and patiently waited for his moment to shine. Although his first three seasons saw limited Premier League appearances, Foden's endurance paid off in the 2023-24 campaign. Though he faced a slight dip in form and lost his place in the starting lineup in the 2022-23 season, Foden still managed to score 15 goals in all competitions. However, in the 23-24 season, he made a strong comeback and delivered outstanding performances, including an impressive hat-trick against Brentford, and he finally established himself as a key player for the team. Phil Foden has been writing history since teenage years. At just 17 years and 350 days old, he secured his first Premier League title with Manchester City, making him the youngest Premier League winner. Now, despite his current young age, Foden has five Premier League titles within City. Initially, he would come into three games as a substitute, but he has grown into a key player, especially during the 2020-21 season where he netted nine goals in 28 league appearances. With his current rate, Foden could equal the legendary Ryan Giggs record of 13 Premier League titles. Beyond the coast of England, Phil Foden has made history in the UEFA Champions League not once, but twice. He became the youngest English scorer in the knockout stage of the competition at the age of 18. At just 17 years and 192 days old, he became the youngest Englishman to start a Champions League match against Shakhtar Donetsk in December 2017, although Manchester City lost that game 2-1. However, Foden further solidified his place in the record books when he came from the bench to score in a 7-0 victory over Schalke in 2018 at the age of 18 years and 288 days which made him the youngest Englishman goalscorer in the competition's knockout stages. In the 2022-23 season, he lost his starting spot to Grealish, but due to De Bruyne's injury, he has had more opportunities to play this season. He used this opportunity well and demonstrated what he was capable of doing. He has done so well that if he features more frequently for England, whether in midfield or on the wings, he has more playing time at the club level. He has a chance at the Ballon d'Or soon. At the beginning of the 2023-24 season, Manchester City faced a challenging period. They had already lost Aguero a few years ago on a free transfer, and Riyad Mahrez also left the club, which disrupted Guardiola's plans. To make matters worse, Kevin De Bruyne was also out for most of the season, and there was no replacement. In December, Erling Haaland's injury further weakened City's attack, which left a leadership vacuum. Jeremy Doku and Julian Alvarez couldn't fill this void, but it was Phil Foden who emerged from the shadows to fill the void. Guardiola thereafter entrusted Foden with consistent starting roles, leading to his personal best streak of 13 consecutive appearances across all competitions. Despite playing various positions, Foden made impactful contributions and showed uncommon versatility. Amidst the winter challenges, Foden's hat-trick against Brentford, contributions in the Champions League, and an important role in securing hard-fought victories emphasized his growing influence. The 2023-24 season has proven to be Phil Foden's most impressive yet. He already has a whopping 18 goals and 10 assists across all competitions, and he is only trailing top strikers like Erling Haaland and Oli Watkins in non-penalty goals. But Foden's talent goes beyond the numbers. His graceful dribbling, great vision, and emerging leadership qualities make him a force to be reckoned with. Unlike past seasons, Foden is no longer on the bench when big names return from injury. His ability to play different positions across the attack in front, combined with his consistent fitness record, has solidified him as a valuable asset for Manchester City. Foden's goals extend beyond club glory. He has his sights set on securing more Premier League titles for City and locking down a starting position for England in Euro 2024. Also, football legends like Gary Neville and Roy Keane are already singing his praises. Neville highlighted his unique talent and Keane commended his team-first mentality. If he leads England to the Euro 2024 final, he would undoubtedly be regarded as a national hero. At the age of 23, Phil Foden has already accumulated an impressive collection of trophies for club football. He has five Premier League titles, numerous FA Cups and League Cups, as well as victories in the Champions League and Club World Cup. Foden has left his mark on the spot. His contributions to these triumphs cannot be overlooked, and only a few footballers have matched his extensive trophy cabinet at such a young age. Do you think Phil Foden will go ahead to become one of the greatest footballers in history? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to enjoy videos of iconic footballers. Stay tuned for our next video.